Hello everybody, this is a quick little demo video showing how you can set up the key bindings for use with the Race Engineer app and the Car Info app for use with the Setup Corsa, plus any other future ones that come out. So, first thing we want to do is go to the folder where the app is installed. So this is going to be the Setup Corsa apps Lua, and then you're going to find, for example, we're going to use the Car Info app for this example. So we're going to that folder, and then you're going to see the .lua file for Nuzzy's Car Info app. Open that up in whatever editor you want. And we can see I've left some user variables here where you can tune them to how you want the app to function. So for the purpose of this, we're just looking at the navigation button. This is the next button here. Whatever we set that to is what we're going to use to navigate the, the menu. So pop up the window, go through all the pages, and it can be used for closing them as well. So what is this number that we want to set it to then? To figure that out, we want to come into our content manager, go into settings, set a Corsa, and then down to controls. This will show you all of your current inputs and settings. Now, to figure this out, for example, I've got the an Xbox One controller here set up, and if I press the like, Y button, you can see it registers as number four. X is three, B2, A is one, and as you can see, yeah, compress whatever, and uh, that's where you can see they are. So I'm gonna use, for this example, the button B. So button B is number two. So we're gonna take that number, and that's what we're going to have right in here. Control S to save that one. And that should be everything we need to do. So let's test that in a little session now. Okay, so here we are. Radio and now check. to see this working, you can either just straight away press the B button. And there we go. Or what we can do is if it's maybe hidden off screen or behind something else, to definitely check that it's working, we can open the Lua debug app, and then this won't be open by default, so if, there we go, you will see this, and you wanna click on the Nuzzy's Car Info app, open that one up, and every time we press that button, there we go, we'll see the logging input for it. And that, that tells us that it is definitely being pressed. So that should be perfectly everything. Move that to where I want it. And you will see that it disappears from here as well as it closes on its own. That's It's still working perfectly fine. So that was it, just a quick one. Once again, big thank you to everybody who is either a member or has purchased the apps. Um, still got a lot more stuff to do and to come and improve. So thanks for your continued support and enjoy.